Anti-ship missiles are guided missiles designed specifically to target and destroy enemy ships. They are typically launched from various platforms such as ships, submarines, aircraft, and land-based systems. Anti-ship missiles are crucial in naval warfare as they provide a powerful means to neutralize large enemy vessels, ensuring control over strategic maritime regions. And today, we will compare two powerful anti-ship missiles, India's BrahMos and Turkey's Atmaka. The development of BrahMos involved significant international collaboration between India and Russia. The missile is a product of a joint venture between India's Defense Research and Development Organization and Russia's NPO Machinistroenia. This collaboration has combined Russian missile technology with Indian expertise, resulting in a highly advanced missile system. Atmaka's development, on the other hand, has been a more nationally focused effort by Turkey's defense industry, primarily led by Rocketson. While there has been some international collaboration in terms of technology and components, Atmaka is largely a product of Turkey's indigenous defense capabilities. First let's talk about their design and dimensions. BrahMos has a length of about 8.4 meters, a diameter of 0.6 meters, and a launch weight of approximately 3,000 kilograms. This design allows it to carry a heavy warhead effectively over long distances at high speeds. Atmaka, on the other hand, measures around 4.8 meters in length and has a diameter of 0.35 meters. Its launch weight is approximately 800 kilograms. The compact design of Atmaka allows it to be deployed from various naval platforms, making it highly versatile for different mission profiles. When it comes to speed, BrahMos is known for its incredible speed, traveling at Mach 3, which is three times the speed of sound. This high speed means BrahMos can reach its target much faster, reducing the enemy's reaction time. On the other hand, Atmaka is a subsonic missile, meaning it travels slower than the speed of sound. This speed difference highlights BrahMos's high velocity capability while Atmaka operates at a more conventional speed. In terms of speed, BrahMos is the leader. Next, we compare their range. BrahMos has an impressive range of around 450 kilometers, allowing it to strike targets from a greater distance. Atmaka, while still effective, has a range of over 200 kilometers. This shows that BrahMos can engage targets from a further distance compared to Atmaka. In terms of range, BrahMos leads. When it comes to the warhead, BrahMos can carry a warhead of up to 300 kilograms, designed to cause maximum damage to enemy ships. Atmaka's warhead details are not fully disclosed, but it is expected to be similarly powerful. Both missiles are designed to deliver significant impact on their targets, ensuring their effectiveness in combat scenarios. BrahMos is slightly ahead with its known warhead capacity. Regarding fuel and engine types, BrahMos uses a ramjet engine with solid and liquid fuel, which provides high speed and long-range capability. Atmaka uses a turbojet engine, which is efficient but slower. This difference in engine technology highlights the unique design choices of each missile to achieve their specific performance characteristics. But BrahMos leads with its advanced ramjet engine. BrahMos uses a combination of inertial navigation and GPS for guidance, ensuring accurate targeting. This system allows BrahMos to navigate precisely, even over long distances. However, weather conditions such as heavy fog or storms can potentially impact GPS signals. Although inertial navigation provides a reliable backup, Atmaka uses an active radar seeker, which actively scans for targets and adjusts the missile's course during flight. This radar-based guidance is highly effective in various weather conditions, as it can penetrate through fog, rain, and other adverse weather. Both have advanced systems, but BrahMos has a slight edge with its dual guidance system. BrahMos can be launched from a variety of platforms including ships, submarines, aircraft, and land-based platforms. This makes it extremely versatile and adaptable to different combat scenarios. Atmaka, on the other hand, is primarily launched from naval platforms, such as warships. However, future versions of Atmaka are expected to include air and land launch capabilities, increasing its versatility. But as of now, BrahMos is more versatile. Considering all factors, BrahMos's strengths include its high speed, long range, and versatile deployment options. These features make it a formidable weapon in rapid response and long-range strike scenarios. However, 
Its reliance on GPS can be a potential weakness in environments where GPS signals might be jammed or disrupted. Atmica's strengths lie in its advanced radar guidance system, which ensures accurate targeting even in adverse weather conditions. Its primary weakness is its slower speed compared to Brahmo's, which may give enemy defenses more time to react. In conclusion, both Brahmos and Atmica are crucial for their respective countries' naval defense. Brahmos stands out with its high speed and longer range, while Atmica offers advanced targeting capabilities with its radar seeker. Each missile has its strengths, making them formidable weapons in maritime warfare. By understanding their unique features and capabilities, we can appreciate the advanced technology behind these powerful defense systems. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.